It's Music Fest at Steamboat Springs 2009, day two. Jason Eady hanging out in the Chateau studio with us for musicfog.com. Um, having a good time? I'm having a great time. Yeah, I really am. Oh, are you doing like outdoor stuff? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start. I wanted to get through with my set, you know. I was like, I had this fear of falling and breaking my arm, you know, before my show or something. Truly. So, uh, yeah, I get through this, and then we're playing, uh, I guess they're, they're doing the tribute to Kevin Welch tomorrow. So, yeah. And then I'm kind of done, you know, so maybe after that I'll go all in and try some things. Yeah, the tribute to Kevin. I, you know, I'm like so confused. I don't know what day it is, and I don't know what's going on where. I, I, I'm just, you know, hoping that I can follow my face and... <laughs> wind up in the places that I need to be. Right. But then, you know, we've kind of turned the studio into the place that we need to be and have yeah. people come to see us is just such a magical thing. It's, yeah. you know, really intimate and, and yeah. wonderful. So well, This is a great setup. I mean, it's really yeah, nice. Yeah, it's, it's really way cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So, you know, we just sort of take over and we've got equipment everywhere and yeah. lights, action, camera. And, I might just come know. hang out here the whole totally, way. I'll just you sit know? in the corner. And, I mean, yeah. it's, it's kind of similar to what we did at Threadgills, which you came right, in right. and hung out with us at in um, uh, March at South by yeah, Southwest South by this South. year. And we just took the back room at Threadgills and we booked artists every hour, mm -hmm. every day, all day. And, and you know, I, I mean, it was just like the, the world coming to us, bringing gifts of music. Yeah. You know, and we didn't have we didn't have problems with portalettes or parking. Right. <laughs> South by can be very challenging in Austin trying to <laughs> just get from one gig yeah. to the next. I mean, there's so many acts that play mm -hmm. that you wind up really, you know, having trouble, you know, getting right. to the next thing and, you know, or just catching one song in a place and then having to move on to the next. So having people come to us just right. rocked. That was really cool, too. Yeah. I mean, it was uh, it felt. Like you could just relax, and it was it was nice. It was well, cool. I met uh, Joe Ely at that thing because he played yeah right after me. And so that, that was, was like cool. one of those fortuitous things because right. actually it was supposed to be reversed, but he decided he wanted to eat, so you got to play, yeah, and right. he listened. Right. It was supposed to be the other way around. Yeah. Actually, it got booked the other way, but um, it and that out. was just wonderful. Yeah, it was cool. I actually got some shows with him out of that. Yay. So yeah, it was great. <laughs> It was great. <laughs> oh, we love when that happens. Yeah. You know, just yeah. great synergy. And yeah. love that intergenerational thing going on, too. You know, yeah. you said you saw Dustin Welch last night. I did. I love, you know, I think he's fantastic. I think, and the set last night was great. The band was great. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of oh, his. I, I love his stuff. Do you know if he has an album coming soon? I think it's coming real soon. Yes. I don't know the exact date, but I, I know he's finished it, and I think it's coming out, like, in the next... I don't want to speak for yeah, him, no. you know, but I think it's coming out in the next month or so, wow. I, I believe. Excellent. I may be wrong, but I think that's right. Way, way cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm just loving what's bubbling out of Texas. Yeah, me too. It's so exciting. Right. It Would is. you play another song for Absolutely. Us? Yeah. yeah. Mind if I play another new one? No, be my, be my guest. All right. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen you, girl Funny we should meet up at a place like this Sure, I've got a minute, but I can't stay long I got someone waiting for me outside Damn, you sure look just like I remember Too bad things turned out like they did You got that same look in your eyes now Last time I saw what you were leaving Has anybody ever told you You sure cry pretty You stand tall, move with grace anybody ever told you you sure cry pretty when your tears fall they don't leave a trace yeah I thought about you for a little while yeah I guess I still do now and then 
only this had been another time, girl. Maybe you might just break me down. Has anybody ever told you you sure cry pretty? You stand tall, move with grace. Has anybody ever told you? You sure cry pretty When your tears fall They don't leave a trace It's time for me to go I hope you understand Sure that you'll be fine once I'm gone Sure there's someone out there you can turn to Just keep your head up girl, you'll be fine Has anybody ever told you, you sure cry pretty You stand tall, move with grace anybody ever told you, you sure cry pretty. When your tears fall, they don't leave a trace. pretty where did the idea for that song come from that's one you know i don't uh normally start with titles i normally kind of just start writing and things come out but i've had that title for a long time my wife actually said um we were watching a show and uh it was and this sh a show came on and there was these guys and they were they were crying it was like these big you know masculine guys like survivors something like that and they started crying and, and she was like you know guys just don't cry pretty and uh and that was kind of and i that the two words together I thought were really cool and so I had the idea um, for a long time for like a year and uh, then when it got time to make the record I just you know I sat down and really started writing and uh, I just decided I was gonna try to do something with that line and so uh, just kind of made created the idea and put it together but that's one that's one of the few that I've had the title you know long before I had the the words do you have your songs ready by the time you go into the studio? Yes, I did this time. Now, most of these I actually wrote, um, I wrote about half this record in the, in the two weeks, <laughs> like yes. from the time we decided to do the record to the time we started making it. Yeah, I had a record's worth of songs, you know, but I don't know, there was something, uh, you know, something about going in the studio with Kevin and, uh, you know, just felt like I needed to step things up a little bit. So I just went in and, uh, and just kind of, spent some time really really I kind of locked myself away for a few weeks and wrote, wrote a lot during that time and th that was one of them that's so cool well, we so are thankful that you thank stopped you. by thank to you share so your music with us thanks for having me out anytime thanks Jason Eady for musicfog.com <laughs>